and welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am Baller Scuba, the Red Terran in the North, up against the Prophet. Uh, I'm not sure if that was an intentional spelling or if he like believes he is a prophet or if he make he believes he makes a lot of money. Either way, he is the blue Protoss in the um, southeast. And remember, kids, uh, caps lock is cruise control for awesome. Um, I actually thought this match was pretty funny. Uh, the map is Jungle Basin, um, which is quite good for, um, Terran, actually. So here I go to see what is going on. Nothing out of the ordinary here. We're going for a pylon, followed by a gateway, chrono boosting the Nexus to get as many probes as possible. And here I come in. And I don't know if he was debating whether or not to attack me. Yeah, it does look like he was. But he wanted that refinery, or sorry, assimilator first. And here he goes around my base, sees what I have going on. Look at that. Shift, 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 shift. Here I was actually scared he was going to be going for a proxy pylon on the side there. Um, I don't know if I showed a game like that or I just saw one, but that was insane. Proxy pylon here early on just sent one of the initial probes down here to the expansion against a Terran and it worked so well. Here my Marine goes for the Zelnalia Tower. And look, that's where his probe was. And he's got another... What is he doing with his probes? Why did... Send the Zealot. Like, really, you need the probe. The probe, I mean... Look at that. Because of that, I'm able to keep the lead in everything. Even though he's got more harvesters, they're they're hanging out. They're they're not harvesting. What? Even though he's got the chrono boost on the Nexus, um, of course the mules are the ones keeping me in this game right now. Um, so what are we seeing for me? Two racks, not even a three racks, just a two racks. Factory into a starport. Am I getting the tech lab? Not yet. And here I go for the other uh, tower. Able to take out that harvester as well. And he's going for massive warp gates and a cybernetic, three warp gates, cybernetic score. And going for a fourth gateway right now. Right on his, right on the ramp. I don't know, that's that's kind of bad location because that's the only place he's got tech so far. There we go, robotics facility and forge coming in near the nexus. Still kind of bad placement there. And here I go for some early pressure just to see what he's got going on. And here I go, whoa, that's a lot of work gates. How much do you got? Oh, he's got sentries? Interesting. Here I thought I could snipe those zealots, but the sentries came in and wiped out uh, my marines. So he's able to take the lead uh, by 25 resources, and there he takes uh, another 50, taking over that Zelnaga tower. Is he gonna? Yes, he's gonna send a stalker around to the other side. Stalker, of course, has uh, 160 health as opposed to the 50 on the Marine. 50, I believe. 45. Wow. So Marine really stands no chance against the stalker. What does it do? It does oh, most damage to armored, but it does still do 10 damage to a marine, so 5 hits and it is gone. And there he is going for an expansion early on. Pylon coming up in... Uh, the, the, I'm just going to stop. Observer coming out. Um, and that's it for the robotics factory, apparently. Twilight Council coming up. Researching ground weapons level 1. I am going for my expansion now as well. Stim pack upgrades level 1 to Marines, a Marauder, and a Medivac. Uh, siege tech as well. I am doing quite a bit. But my APM doesn't show it. Once again, I, I don't, I've mentioned this before. I do want to emphasize again. I am on a laptop playing this, and I do not have a mouse for this. I'm actually playing this lying down most of the time. Uh, so I'm using that little mouse pad at the bottom of the keyboard on my laptop. So my APM will always be low, a lot lower than it would normally be if I was uh, using a regular mouse. I don't know if it's holding me back in StarCraft. It probably is, but it's not something that I can really fix for a little while. 
And here he's going for a little sweep around here. Going to go for uh, my expansion because he does see it's up with that observer. And I got a missile turret here to prevent uh, Dark Templars. Here he's going for the rocks. Seen a transfer out of his expansion. But he hasn't been building probes, so I have a 32 to 22 lead. I sent in a raven. Let me back that up, because I think this really did piss him off. Back it up a little more. I got a raven, because I know that every Protoss player gets observers. And of course, I can see that little glitch thing, whatever, the little um, wavy line. So I knew there was an observer somewhere. So I sent. The, so I got a raven, sent it out, and boom! sent me right to his army right where the observer was is where he was moving his army i think that really pissed him off he's down to just four stalkers uh none of them lost any health it looks like though uh no and then the observer's still there checking it out so i'm like hey you know i still got that raven let's move here and down goes, almost goes the observer almost gone uh he moved those four uh, three stalkers uh, to that tower, one left to there. And the observer's on the move again. And does the missile turret catch it? No, just out of range. Nicely done. But, yeah, you can see... I mean, th one thing that players always forget is that, um, you know, observers are not invisible. They're cloaked. Which means if I pay attention, I can see it. Uh, it's just that I can't attack it. it. If I see this little, you know, wavy, predator-looking thing going across the map, oh, it's a cloaked unit. Let me see if I can get an observer over, or, or, you know, some kind of detector over here. And here I move around to make sure that he didn't get an expansion here, because that's where I thought these got those uh, stalkers and sentries came from. But he did not. And, yeah, I had that... Um, income tab up the whole time, didn't even mention it. Look at that lead. 41 to 30, 1700 about, uh, 270, yeah, 4 gas, up against 3 gas, and just under a 1000 uh, minerals, so I'm taking a huge lead. He's actually got full energy on both of his he nexus, and here I went for an attack, and of course I'm stupid, and put them all on the same uh, hockey, and then forgot about it. Always keep the raven on a separate hockey. Always, always, always. You want to know why? I found this out the hard way. Um, if you select all your units, the raven's abilities takes precedence. So um, if I hit T, it's going to build an auto turret when I wanted to use it for stim packs. <laughs> so always keep the raven on a separate hockey. I am not keeping track of my uh, energy either, but it's not full, so uh, I still think I have the lead there, plus of the harvester count. And looks, I am the one producing. He is stopped altogether. Looks like he's going to focus on the army. Um, those, uh, <laughs> those immortals are going to do well against the siege tanks. Um, of course, it does 60 damage against armor. That is huge. Uh, but the Marauders also do bonus damage to armor, so, um, I don't know. I'll, and here, I, I, I don't know what he means. He clicked the wrong... I don't know if he, I want to know what he said. If there's a way to, um, I don't know if that, that was something that he actually typed, or if that was something that, uh, the computer did for me to, to protect me from curse words. Um, but I would like to know what he said. Uh, apparently he clicked the wrong thing. Um, let's go back and find out what it was. Uh, looks like he brought in stalkers. No, it was before then. No, before then. Sorry about being so unprofessional, but I want to know what is going on. Okay, he's here he brings in zealots. I don't think he wanted zealots. <laughs> I think that's what he's complaining about. He having clicked... Yeah, he... F I'm going to assume it says fucking clicked, clicked the wrong shit. And remember, kids, caps lock is speed control for cool, cruise control for cool, and awesome. 
and is not annoying in any way possible. So here it brings out more stalkers and sentries. I assume that's what he actually wanted. But dude, it's not my fault that you clicked the wrong button. I'm, what am I going to do? Okay, I'll give you 30 seconds to make up for your misclick. Uh, so I bring in banshees. Um, I don't even... I, I don't have cloak researched, I don't think. Do I? No. Um, I, I'm not really even thinking about cloaked. I, I just want to take out the ground forces and to help take out uh, the armor... Um, <laughs> The Armored Immortals, and here he says, fuck you, and rage quits. I'm not exactly sure what his problem was with me. Um, I didn't do anything cheesy at all. Um, I took out the Observer. The Observer led me to his army when he was going for the uh, sneak attack here. Um, it's it's not like I had map hacks. I, you know, I don't play with map hacks. Um... I, I don't... Are there even map hacks out for this game yet? I don't even know. There could be. Wait, let me... Cy Starcraft did show a game where a guy was using map hacks, so I guess there are map hacks for this game. I did not use them, though. I mean, like I said, observers are cloaked. They're not invisible. So, you know, this guy here, yeah, I saw him, but I didn't think it was important to take him out because he could see my army even if I did take him out. So... <laughs> Quite a funny game, actually. Um, bad, bad management from him. Um, not really going all in on this um, on this right here, hoping to take out that expansion. Um, but luckily, but he moved his observer here to make sure that there was nothing, no banshees or ghosts, I guess. Uh, so when I saw that observer, I sent my army over there to take it out. Sent the raven, and boom, there was there was his entire army. So, um, uh, interesting game, uh, from, uh, Rage Quitter. So I hope to see you guys next time. Hope you learned, hope you laughed. Yeah, hope to see you next time. Bye.